One of the more controversial features of management of ADHD is the issue of medication, both stimulant medication and non-stimulant medication. Unfortunately, in my view, the media has, has misrepresented the value of medication for both children and adults who are suffering with this condition. Medication is an option, along with many other things that can help children with ADHD negotiate some of the difficulties that they have. Medication doesn't cure children with ADHD. It does act as a tool, though, to allow certain children and people who have problems with inattention, hyperactivity, and to a certain extent, hesitation before they do things, to make a different choice. If you couldn't play the piano before, you took medication, you won't be able to take, play the piano afterwards. Having said that, medication may allow someone to teach a child with ADHD to learn to play the piano. Medication has side effects for children with ADHD. Side effects which are relevant in most cases will be those to do with the stimulant medication, predominantly known as Ritalin, but basically which is called methylphenidate. There are various forms of methylphenidate on the, in the marketplace today. There are capsules that take four hours, there are capsules that are eight hours, and there's capsules that are 12 hours. In fact, this year there will be a new product coming out that will be methylphenidate patches. In all of these cases, methylphenidate appears to help children with ADHD concentrate by helping dopamine receptors facilitate that area in a way that they're not doing without medication. The side effects of Ritalin or methylphenidate predominantly are loss of appetite and sometimes later to sleep. These side effects, which may not happen in all cases, can be minimized by careful titration of the medication and consultation with the medical practitioners involved in your particular child's situation. The media reporting about medication, in my view, has not been balanced and to a certain extent has been somewhat sensationalized. The big question that many parents ask me are what are the long-term effects of medication on my child? I'm not a doctor. I'm a teacher and I'm an educationalist. My answer to these parents will be, I don't know. In fact, although there are studies showing that methylphenidate has been used for 40 years without many adverse um, side effects reported, the truth is that there's never been the quantity of people on medication over this period of time, so it is somewhat unknown. What we may argue, though, is that the effects of not taking medication for certain children with ADHD are known. Many studies show that the likelihood of children with ADHD being excluded from British schools and from schools overseas is up to a hundred times more likely than those of their peers. If children are excluded from school, this shows a pathway often leading into criminality, into social dysfunction. And so we could argue, in many cases, the effects of not taking medication can be very dramatic on the lives of those individuals for whom other options may have been available. There are a host of other alternative options as well. My view is always to seek advice, look at the research, and also to talk to other parents or individuals who have undergone some of these varying forms of alternative remedies. One particular issue right now is the issue of food and how food affects hyperactivity. There's been a lot of research to show that certain students, certain people are affected by certain things within the food industry. Fish oils and alternatives such as this, in most cases, do not make, the research shows, a great deal of difference to many individuals. Having said this, 
certain families and certain individuals say that they make a great deal of difference. Generally speaking, these types of products are not recognized by the medical profession. Having said that, many, many anecdotal uh, evidence exists that they can be very, very good. As they're non-invasive, my advice is always to try and experiment with all the options that are available and see whether it benefits the individual concerned.